क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एक्सरसाइज इज फोर ए एंड द हेडिंग इज फाइंड द एच सी एफ ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बाई डिविजन मैथड सो टू नंबर आर गिवन टू यू पीपल इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड द फर्स्ट नंबर इज थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स विच इज़ ग्रेटर दिस विल बी योर डेविडेंट एंड थ्री हंड्रेड इज योर डिवाइज फर्स्ट टेक द थ्री नंबर फर्स्ट थ्री नंबर ऑफ द डेविडेंट टू डिवाइड द थ्री नाइन्टी नाइन बाई थ्री हंड्रेड वन टाइम्स इज थ्री हंड्रेड यू आर लेफ्ट विद नाइन्टी नाइन एंड ब्रिंग सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एक्सरसाइज नंबर फोर ए फाइंड द एच सी एफ बाई डिविजन मैथड सो टू नंबर आर गिवन टू यू पीपल before we did uh, factorization now we will do the division method and it is long division method to find out the highest common factor so we will put inside as a dividend the greater number and the smaller number will be our divisor so look at the numbers 3996 is there and 300 is there so 399 we will take these three numbers because 399 is greater than 300 we can divide it by 300 so 301 times is 300 do this subtraction 9 and 9 so here zero is there 99 and bring 6 down now do again the division with 300 because 996 is greater than 300 Three hundred three times is nine hundred. So now you are left with six and nine. Ninety-six. Ninety-six is smaller than three hundred. The first divisor. So you will bring the first divisor down as a dividend, and you will divide it by ninety-six. So do the table of read out the table of ninety-six. let's do the multiplication three times is 288 so now do the subtraction 12 is there now 96 is the divisor we will make it dividend in the end 12 eights are 96 now the last divisor is your highest common factor which can divide both the numbers exactly without leaving any remainder so 12 is your hcf for this question this is the met method of long division by long division we can sort out the hcf of different numbers like this dear children question number 5 and part 2 is there now you have to do the hcf by the method of long division and the numbers are 5445 and the second number is 9317 so you will put the bigger number the greater number inside as a dividend and you will divide upon 5445 so one time gives you 5445 so do the subtraction here the remainder will be 2112 you will borrow 11 4 is 7 11 minus 4 is 7 Here you have two, so bring one here. So you borrowed one. Twelve minus four is eight. Eight minus five is three. Now this will be your divisor, and the dividend will be the previous divisor, five thousand four hundred and forty-five. in the long division method you repeat the division with the previous divisor 
and remainder becomes your divisor and the previous divisor becomes your dividend so one three thousand eight hundred and seventy two one times is three thousand eight hundred and seventy two because two times you will get a greater number uh, do the subtraction you will get five minus two is three fourteen and three 14 minus 7 is 7. Here you will borrow 1. So 13 minus 8 gives you 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. Now the new dividend will be 3872. Now, 1572 is there, so we have to do the rough work. Let's check two times this number. Three thousand one forty-six. so you can take it as your multiple 3146 1573 2 times is 3146 which is smaller than your previous dividend so 12 minus 6 is 6 7 minus here you will have 6 now 6 minus 4 is 2 and 8 minus 1 gives you cross here the next dividend is 1573 ok two times let's do the multiplication it could be your rough work Two times gives you one thousand four hundred and fifty two. Remainder is one, two, and one. Okay. Now your new dividend is seven twenty six. So one twenty one in the rough. Six times gives you this is your rough work. Okay, six times is seven hundred and twenty six. So your numbers both numbers are finished. The last divisor is one twenty one, which is your highest common. So 121 is the greatest number which divide 9317 and also 5445. This is the greatest number which divide these two numbers exactly without leaving any remainder. Okay children, question number 5, part 3. There are three numbers given to you. You have to find out the uh, HCF of all these three numbers uh, the one number which can divide all these numbers exactly without leaving any remainder so the, we will take these two numbers first because um, starting from greater number we will get the answer soon so 1463 is greatest number and the other number is 665 so do the rough work beside your question and we will see that 665 2 times is less than 1463 5 2s are 10 1 6 2s are 12 13 1 carry 
six twos are twelve and thirteen twos. So one thousand three hundred and thirty. So here two times gives you one thousand three hundred and thirty. So you will do the subtraction three three and one. One thirty three is your remainder of uh, this part. Then now you will bring down six sixty five as your dividend, and you will divide one uh, it upon one thirty three. So one thirty three. Let's do the rough work. One thirty three five times gives you you are the fifteen. You are the fifteen and sixteen. One carry five. One is five and six. Six sixty five. The exact number. So one thirty three five times is six hundred and sixty five. So the remainder is zero. And the HCF becomes one thirty three of these two numbers. Now you you are left with three hundred and thirty nine. So you will divide three hundred and thirty nine upon one thirty three because one thirty three HCF of previous two numbers is less than your third number given in the question. So do the division of these two numbers. So one thirty three, three times is one thirty three. Three times gives you the exact number. Three three is a nine. Three three is a nine. And three one is three. So three times is three hundred and thirty nine. So your question is solved. And the HCF of all these three numbers is one hundred and thirty. So one hundred and thirty-three is the greatest number, which can divide three ninety-nine, six sixty-five, and one thousand six four hundred and sixty-three exactly without leaving any remainder. Do the rough work as well, and the division, both the divisions, and write down the end. Children, this is the last part of question number five, uh, fourth part. Uh, having four different numbers, you have to find out. The HCF, the greatest number uh, among all these uh, numbers, so which can divide them, all of them, exactly without leaving any remainder. So we will take these two numbers first for the division, starting from three thousand four hundred and sixteen as our dividend, and the divisor is one thousand two hundred and eighty-one. So. Uh, do the rough work as well to find out the multiple. So two times is two one is two two is a sixteen one carry two two is a four one five two one is two. So we can take the uh, multiplication of uh, two times of one thousand two hundred eighty one. So two times gives us. Two thousand five hundred and sixty-two. Now do the subtraction. Here you will get four six minus two is four. Eleven minus six is five. And here three. Thirteen minus five is eight. Eight fifty-four. Is the remainder. Now, the next dividend will be the first divisor, one thousand two hundred and eighty-one. So we will fully divide both the numbers. So one times is eight hundred and fifty-four because two times will be a greater number. So we will take the uh, multiplication of uh, eight thousand five hundred four uh, with One so gives us this number. Now do the subtraction here. You will get eleven minus four is seven. Here you have seven now. Seven minus five is two, obviously, and here you will have twelve. Twelve minus eight is four. Four twenty-seven is the remainder. Now this remainder becomes your divisor, and your dividend will be the previous divisor eight fifty four. Now four twenty seven 
2 times uh, will give you 854 I think let's do the multiplication 427 2 times is 7 to the 14 1 here 2 to the 4 5 and 4 to the 8 yeah. 2 times is 854 so we are left with nothing so this is the HCF of two numbers last two numbers now you will take this number as your next number by which you will this will be your dividend and your HCF 427 is your divisor now two times let's do the multiplication of 427 with 2 and get the multiple 14 by 854 2 times is 854 so units with the units and tens and then hundreds no thousand in this number 3 times is will become a greater number so we use the multiplication as 427 2 times 854 9 4 is 5 and 5 minus 5 is 0 where 11 minus 8 is 3 305 is the remainder and now the next dividend is 427 the previous divisor now 1 times is 305 7 minus 5 do the subtraction here 2 2 2 minus 0 is 2 4 minus 3 is 1 1 22 is the remainder which will be your divisor and 305 will be your dividend previous divisor 1 times uh, maybe 2 times 1 22 2 times is 2 2 is 4 2 minus 2 yes 2 times is 244 so the remainder is 1 10 minus 4 is 6 61 now you will divide 122 upon 61 so 2 times is 61 2 times is 122 so you are left with nothing so this is the HCF of the third number with the HCF previous HCF now you are left with the last number 427 so you will divide 427 upon this HCF to get the HCF of all these four numbers so 61 7 times maybe yes do the rough work 7 minus 7 7 6 are 42 so 61 7 times is 427 so your HCF is 61 highest common factor is 61 which can divide all the numbers 3416 1, 1281 1159 and 427 exactly without leaving any remainder 61 is the highest common divisor highest common factor or greatest common divisor you can say GCD also to HCF GCD or HCF one and the same 